Hi, my name is Martin. Welcome to My Beginner Mind. Today, tiny video, how to be a little more happier, a little more joy created in your life. And today's topic is about habits. You know, a lot of times in life we go through experiences. These experiences can be good, these experiences can be bad. Well, every time we go through that experience, it kind of creates a little impression inside our mind. And over time, these impressions, they build on each other, and our body and our mind kind of create an autonomous response to a situation that we're going through right now. And again, sometimes these can be good, sometimes these can be bad. And in yoga, we call these our samskaras, these automatic responses. And in general, these automatic responses kind of keep us really disconnected from the present moment, really disconnected from what is going on right now. Because right now, the situation that your mind may think you experienced in the past, it's completely different and the outcome can be completely different. How many times in a day do we complain about things in our life? How many times do we reach out to technology, disconnecting from what's really going on around us? And how many times do we really worry about something that hasn't happened yet? When we do these things, we practice them. And every time we practice something, we get better at it. This is why one of the keys to our happiness is not some magic fix, some instant cure-all. It lies in our daily habits and how we go about our daily lives. Can you just right now begin to think of these times where you automatically generate a response to a certain situation? The first step to overcoming our samskaras is noticing, mindfulness. It's really beginning to become aware of our surroundings and these situations. Because when we become aware of our surroundings and our situations, that gives us the chance and the ability to change them. And how can we change them? Well, remember, what we practice, we get good at. And that is completely true. First step is noticing when we jump into that autopilot mode. And when we know that we jump into a specific mode, next time, can we go ahead and just take a moment, take a mindful minute, if you want to call it that, and try and do the opposite. Remember, what we practice, we get good at. And the more and more we practice doing the opposite of a bad habit, the more that opposite becomes our habit and a good habit at that. A lot of times in these moments, our bodies like to get tense. They like to get tight, feeling, you know, a little pressure in your chest, in your stomach. And if you could really focus on the sensations in your body, really, how does it make you feel? Disconnect the feeling from the actual physical sensation is the first step to disconnecting that emotion from that feeling. And you'll notice that when you begin to focus on the physical sensation, that feeling that you once associated with that, it seems to disappear. Now that physical sensation, after we focus on it, it disappears as well. And this is not something that comes instantly. It's gonna take practice. Remember, what we do, this repetition, we get good at. And I promise you, it really, really works. We just have to keep our practice. Just like in meditation, just like in our yoga practice, we bring that mindful awareness to our body. We start noticing the feelings. It's not always, I tell my students, about the asana, about the pose, but it's about how we feel. Can we bring our mind to our breath? Can we bring our mind into the present moment? And each time we practice that, each time we go through those feelings and those emotions inside, we learn how to really become present. We learn to take our mind out of that autonomous mode and we start taking our bad samskaras, these automatic responses that are not really positive in our life and we start replacing them with good samskaras, good responses into the situation. Remember, even these good samskaras, we don't want to hold on to because when we hold on to a certain situation and a certain feeling, and then that doesn't happen in the future, we tend to create again this sadness that something didn't turn out the way we wanted to. So another practice is letting go of the expectations. Really just feeling and coming to every moment as it is and appreciating them. 
coming into it with gratitude that we can even feel those feelings. Because remember, this gratitude we practice, this way we live our daily lives is how we shape our lives to be in the future. You create the feelings and how you react to everything around you. And I promise you, I promise, with each and every little bit of practice, you will get better at whatever it is you're doing. And that is one key to really creating more joy, more abundance, more gratitude, more happiness in your life. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share it, share it with your friends, put it on Facebook, wherever you think people can benefit from learning this little practice of watching our habits. Stay tuned for more videos, subscribe to the channel, and always remember, there is no better time than the present.